hi guys welcome to my videos so today in this video i'm going to show you how to step by step install and configure microsoft team apps in your android devices before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe right now because i regularly upload video and if you have any concern any question anything that comes in your mind feel always absolutely free to ask us this is your own channel all right guys so let's proceed so guys as i've already showed you how to do this in iOS devices. I'm showing you again this in Android devices. Because right now this is in high demand considering the global lockdown. And even after that this is going to be in demand because this is a very good tool for collaboration provided by Microsoft. So in front of you I have opened the Google, Google Play Store. So search for Microsoft Teams. So it came right away. Click on install. So it is being installed now. So you can see it's being installing now. Okay, so this app has been installed. Click on open. Okay. So you have sign in uh, and sign up for free. So I assume you already have your Office 365 credentials, so you just need to tap on sign in and need to provide your Microsoft account. and now it is signing me in so I uh, tap on next this is just demonstrating some few features click on got it and now it is making the things ready for me okay so we have various options over here like activity chat teams calendar calls so if i go to the activity tab here you can see all the activities that have been done because i'm not doing anything so it's not over here if i go to chat i can create a new chat here like suppose this guy i want to do some chat i can send a message hello I can do a voice call, I can do a video call, but the guy is offline so can't do. When I go to the teams, here I see the teams over here that have been created. This is my test environment so don't have much. So if I go here, again I can see post, files, more like all sort of collaborating activities then I have the calendar option here I can add a new scheduled meeting anything that are a new event and then finally this is like with the logs call logs that I make over here and if any voicemail comes that's gonna appear over here so that's how simple it is guys so i hope you like this video make sure you leave a like and comment and if you have any concern any question anything that comes to your mind feel always absolutely free to us thank you guys